Good evening, everyone. Welcome to St. Mark's. Our opening hymn is number 490 in the Breaking Bread. If you all could please rise as we begin our Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We gather as community on this weekend as we celebrate our Lord's resurrection. As we enter into our sacred mysteries, we gather acknowledging our sins and asking for the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You raise us all to newness of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death. And thus death came to all men, 
inasmuch as all had sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world. Though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin. After the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come? But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the, on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both body and soul in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even the hairs on your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. The Gospel of the Lord. A few months ago, my dad sent me a random text message. He doesn't text me all that often, but he just sent a text message that said Matthew uh, 10, 26, you know, to whatever. So, not, you know, knowing what it was, I, you know, looked it up and I read the scripture passage that we just read today, and I just gave him a call right, right away. I said, very funny, Dad, because one of them says that, you know, count all the heads on your head. So I thought it was a ball joke. So um, <laughs> she says, no, 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 that's not what I meant. And he said, he said, did you actually read it? I said, no, I got stuck on the hair thing. Thanks, Dad. Um, no, but he says, you know, he was just sending me the text message, I think, just to say he loves me because, you know, you are worth more than many sparrows. You know, it's very, very cute. So if you want to say you love somebody, say, I love you more than sparrows. And that's true love. Uh, but then, but looking at the, it's a, a beautiful gospel passage, though. Um, and I think there's, there's a bunch of challenges in there. The first, it starts with the, you know, there's nothing that, that's in the darkness that's not going to come to light. So anything that we think is concealed, he knows everything. He knows the hairs on our head. He knows what sparrows die. He knows all sorts of stuff. Why are we hiding anything? But then the challenge is, at the very end, if you deny me before my heavenly Father, or if you deny me in front of others, then I will deny you in front of my heavenly Father. I think that's always a big challenge for us, especially out in public. I was somewhere, you know, overhearing a conversation the other day, and somebody is telling somebody about this great trip that they took to Italy and got to visit all these sorts of churches and all that, and then they had to interject. But, you know, I'm not a devout Catholic. I'm Catholic, but I'm not devout. Why even bother saying that? So are you a believer or not, you know, is what we come to, to, to pass with that. But even in our conversations, he comes up like, do you go to church? And I hope resoundingly, 
we're proud of the fact that we come here and we have a relationship with Jesus Christ because that's what this is all about. You can look at any of these um, circumstances that we can get into and whether we just try to be a chameleon because we're a bunch of, around a bunch of unchurched people. That's called being a chameleon. And if we're like, oh, no, I, I sometimes go, is that in some way denying our relationship with Christ? And that type of uh, scripture passage does scare me at the end of our life. Are we authentic at all times? Or do we kind of hide in these crevices and around certain people, yes, we're proud to be Catholic, and around certain people, we're not? No, at all times, we need a resounding yes that we believe. And we're just about to profess that in a few minutes, what we believe. And it's just not during Mass. It's at all times in our life. So, you know, I love all of you more than many sparrows. But the Lord does know, even the bald people, the, the, the number of hairs on the top of their head. So... And we stand together. And as one family in faith, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In trust and confidence, we'll bring our prayers and petitions to our loving Father. For church leaders, may the Spirit guide them in truth and wisdom as they shepherd souls throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord For an end to violence and war throughout the world, may God inspire leaders in pursuing peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those suffering from hardships of any, any sort, may the Holy Spirit grant them hope and faith. We pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially from among the young people of our parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord And for our community of faith at St. Mark's, may the love of Christ inspire a greater devotion to the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord And we pray for all who have died and for all that die today, especially for Pat Trongo, for whom this Mass is offered. May they experience the eternal rest and the peace of heaven, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for the prayers on our prayer line and for those that we voice in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We ask all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 693. The Lord is my light, my help, my salvation. Why should I fear? With God I fear no one. God protects me all my life. With the Lord, what should I do? Is my light, the Lord is my help. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven for us all. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the it is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread into his hands. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mark, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. amen. 
that the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us turn to one another and offer the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 359.
Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, 
that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And thank you to the choir led by Amanda for leading us in this wonderful song again. And I even see a new face over there, so that's wonderful. So thank you for your ministry and, and, and for volunteering helping us out. And if anybody else wants to help out, of course, go talk to Amanda. We'd love to have you uh, join our choir. Uh, this week is a very special week for our parish as we have Vacation Bible School uh, that begins Monday and runs through Friday uh, from 8 a.m. until noon, uh, Monday through Friday every day. And I think between the kids, the crew leaders, and volunteers, I think we're going to be between about 80 and 90 people or something like that, I, I believe. So it's going to be a wonderful, uh, wonderful week. Just pray for uh, the kids that they grow closer to Christ in that week and, and have a good and safe week and that uh, the adult volunteers um, can relax after the week is over. Pray for us too. Uh, so that's all going on this week. Um, other than that, just enjoy uh, your weekend, and I will see you next week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Closing him is number 431.